Hi, my name is Janet, and I come as a servant of the Most High God Elohim in the name of Yehushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, to share a message he instructed me to share given on April 7, 2022. As with anything, I ask that you take it to the Lord for confirmation. I do not come for money, likes, or subscribers. I come as the Lord has asked me to share this message, and I hope it is a blessing to you. If you need prayer, I'd be glad to intercede on your behalf. You can leave a message in the comment section or email me. There will be a salvation prayer at the end. I am truly glad you are here. Now we'll begin. Daughter, write these words, for they are true and pure words, as those tried in a fire seven times. Thus saith the Lord God, I am the creator of all things, Elohim, of both man and beast, earth and sky, the seas, and of every creeping thing. Before creation I was, and after this earth passes away I will be, and shall remain forevermore. I am the father of mysteries and revelation. I long for each of my children to know me and to walk with me. I have gone to great lengths so that each one can approach my throne of grace. Lo, if only they would open their hearts to me. Look to me above all else, for I am the only true and living God. No one else shall satisfy the deepest hunger or quench the lingering thirst. I am faithful to the very end. All else shall fail, but my words, my presence, my spirit shall never fail. The charity love never fails. Why? It is selfless. It does not seek itself. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Know that through it all I shall guide you, correct you, and direct you because of my great love for you. My love is all-consuming, selfless, and eternal. It does not change. I am the same through the hilltop and through the valley. Daughter, continue to follow me, and I will make you a fisher of men. Be at peace. Shalom. Love, Abba. Thank you for listening. If you do not have a personal relationship with our Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ, Yehushua HaMashiach, you can start off with praying this prayer. I'll pray along with you. This is just a start, as it is not about a religion or religious duty, but it is about a love relationship. And so it's step by step, day by day. And it's very important that you get a Bible, you read for yourself, you grow in the Lord, you grow in love, you grow in His Word and in truth. Lord Jesus, I ask you into my life and into my heart starting at this moment to be my Lord and Savior. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. I accept by faith this sacrificial act and ask that you forgive me of all my sins. I reject the devil's influence on my life and turn to you, Jesus Christ, Yehushua HaMashiach. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for loving me and saving me. Lord, I choose to live for you wholeheartedly from now on, and I want a true relationship in Jesus' name. Amen. It's very important that it, it's about the heart. It's about the condition of your heart. And so here's a prayer that I like to pray throughout the day and when I wake up in the morning. And it's found in the book of Matthew in chapter 6, verses 9 through 13. It's the Lord's Prayer. And it's a very good prayer. And it's not too complicated. It says, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Again, thank you for listening. Take care.